The only victim here is your child. I need to call my mom and my attorney and my landlord and my therapist. I don't mind ugly f oh! Yeah, I'm done. I'm done dating. <laughs> It's time for best of TikTok drama. <laughs> it needs something. Wait, how do we do it? I, it needs snapping or something. It's time for best <laughs> best of TikTok drama. No, I can't do it. Oh, whatever, we'll figure it out. This is the story of me agreeing to get an older woman pregnant and then her trying to ruin my life. Ooh! When I was 23, I had a one night stand with a girl from my hometown named Maria. We both knew it was nothing more than that and we didn't speak after. Several months later, I received a text from her saying that she had been lucky in love and she wanted the baby before it was too late. So she asked if I would get her pregnant and I wouldn't have to bear any responsibility like a sperm donor. Get that written in a contract. Also, it doesn't seem like it's medical. I mean, like she does say she's getting older perhaps, but like that's on you to go find somebody. You can't just call up the uh, bad boy from the grocery store and say, stick it in. You can't do that. And I first thought no, but after some you know, time to think about it, I thought it'd be the right thing to do for someone struggling. <gasps> so we filled out an ironclad agreement and you know, basically I would, wouldn't be responsible at all. A while later, she told me she was ovulating, and then a few weeks after that, she told me she was pregnant and it had worked. Is anybody else uncomfortable just after hearing that? Like, oh my god, what? What? Holy, you know what? Okay, you know where I'm at right now? Bro, 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 bro. Imagine you're this guy's mom, and you find out that this, this lady has asked for this, and your son has agreed. Don't worry, mom, we have a contract. Bitch! No, 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 no. This is maybe I don't know. He sounds a little naive to me. Maybe I don't know. Th that this is crazy. Okay, let's see. I went back to California for work, and we didn't speak after that. Unbeknownst to me, she contacted my family behind my back, invited them to the baby shower. <gasps> they then began getting dinner or whatever regularly, and as she got to know my parents, my parents started encouraging me to be in the baby's life. And once I found out it was a little girl, I thought it was the right thing to do. Lord, help me, help me understand. <laughs> help me understand this world that we live in. Please, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> How did we go from signing an ironclad agreement to being present for the birth and taking photos? <laughs> I flew home to be there for the birth and I got a tattoo of our daughter's middle name before she was born. Oh my, okay. After our daughter was born, Maria wanted us to be together and be oh. a family. And when I said I didn't want to do that, she wouldn't let me see my daughter. Hey, thanks to Helix for sponsoring today's video. My Helix mattress is finally here. You know what that means. My guests don't have to sleep on the floor anymore. You think I'm joking? Last time Jenna stayed here, she didn't even get water, but now she's got a comfy mattress that I am certainly going to put on a comfy bed for her. In order to get a perfect night's sleep on the mattress, I actually took a Helix sleep quiz so I could figure out what was the best one for me. The Helix sleep quiz will match you with your perfect premium Helix mattress, customized to fit your exact needs. They have over 20 mattress options, so this one is really helpful in finding exactly what I was looking for. I don't know what all this stuff does. Let me take a quiz. Helix also offers free US shipping, so really the hardest part is getting the box inside. I thought it was gonna be difficult setting it up on my own, but it was surprisingly easy to do all by myself. It's so easy a child to do it. Helix mattresses also include a 10 year warranty and they offer financing options and flexible payment plans. Now, when I finally got her unboxed and got to lay on it, I was so pleasantly surprised. I'm okay, I'm not kidding, it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable, okay? And I did it all by myself. Look, I'm a really light sleeper, okay? So I need like a pretty soft mattress so that, you know, I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, oh God, they're coming again. But I'm like, wait. This bed is so soft and cozy. I'll just go right back to sleep. That's why I need something kind of soft. You know what I mean? So look, Helix offers 20 unique types, including the award-winning Lux and ultra premium elite options, the Helix Plus, a mattress for big and tall sleepers. That's not me. And then the Helix Kid Mattress, which is endorsed by child sleep and medical experts. Listen, the kids need a good night of sleep too. And don't forget, there's a 100 night sleep trial to test your mattress out and make sure that you love it. Visit helixsleep.com slash Bosevworld to get 20% off of your Helix mattress. Yes, 20%. It's helixsleep.com slash Bosevworld.
My main source of income at the time was the air- oh, bye, 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 bye. It is my job to read these text messages. She said, I'm gonna stop by Popeyes if you want something. Sounds like a good woman to me. So it looks like December 11th texted, sorry if I seemed moody. I just had the shittiest something something. He doesn't respond. And then she says, I want to try and make it work with us being a family. Can we do that? I want to be with you, Brett. I hate when you leave us. I just need you to say something or how you feel about that. Is it just me or does it seem like she might have planned this all along? <laughs> like that she liked him and just thought, oh, I'm just going to ask for it. You know, like what? That's what it's giving, you know? Okay, she said, I just need you to say something or how you feel about that. And he said, I'm sorry, but that isn't what I want to do. And she said, that hurts. The baby and I need to stay in your house for like two months until I can get our own place and so that I can save a little more. I am taking a position remote, which comes with a huge pay cut, but I won't have to put our daughter in daycare. Oh my God, she's saying our daughter. Oh my God, I feel so bad for him. What's in the agreement? What's in the agreement? I can be home with her. Looks like we're closing this property on June 9th in whatever. So I'm hoping to be packed up. Wait, how do you say June 9th in... Medari? Medari? I tried. So I'm hoping to be packed up and out of this apartment by the weekend prior to the 9th. I'll put all of my stuff in storage except our clothes. Can we stay there? Uh, an hour and 10 minutes later, she said, um, kind of important. Can you respond? Bitch, if you are asking for you and your child, because like you keep saying our baby, but according to these documents you have me signed, that's not really my kid like that. You know, but if you text me and you ask me if you and the baby can move in, can I, can I please get two hours to respond? Can I, can I, I, lo I would love 24 hours. I need to call my mom and my attorney and my landlord and my therapist. Okay. <laughs> can I please have 24 hours to respond? One hour and 30 minutes after the initial text. You're deliberately ignoring me and it's extremely frustrating considering I'm asking you to put a roof over your daughter's head. Manipulative, so manipulative. If you don't ever want to help us, then let's see a lawyer and sign your rights over and let me legally, they should have been Come signed the over. Time was the Airbnb that I owned. And she said this a few months after she was born. I felt bad, so I let her move in for several months. Wow. Once she moved out, she told me this. Okay, so it looks like they lived together for a couple months and then, first of all, what is this message up here? We're getting individual letters. All right. She said, this is what I want. I want you to pay her daycare the full amount. You can have her one weekend a month if you stay at your parents. Let me know if this works for you. What happened to the agreement? Let's just figure this out before you get into town. I don't want to have to speak to you anymore. Yes, you do. You like him. So this is over, okay? I want to get this over with. Can you please respond? <laughs> We are talking about our child. We talked about having some kind of agreement this evening, Brett. So we need to figure this out. If you don't respond to me, I'm going to quit responding to you. One Halloween, I didn't want to wear matching costumes with Maria. So she wouldn't let me see my daughter for a while. And when our daughter was being mm -hmm. baptized, I drove a 14 hour round trip from Nashville to attend. And because I didn't want to see Maria the night before, she didn't allow me to come to the baptism at all. Soon after this, she served me with child support, saying that our original contract wasn't valid because our daughter didn't have a social security number yet. <clears throat> and I didn't fight her on it. Uh, I didn't have the time. I was living away. I ended up paying her $10,000 up front <gasps> and seven fifty dollars a month. Oh, my God. I was able to move home soon after that, and I began seeing our daughter regularly. The whiplash that I just got. Let me, can I play that back for five seconds? And then, and then, and then just you take it in and then I'm going to tell you my whiplash. Hold on. And I began seeing our daughter regularly. Everything was going really well until I got a girlfriend. Boy, this girl like you. This girl likes you. And also, you know what? I think he's, he's dumb as f but he probably agreed to have a baby with her. She's pretty. That, that's a big that's a big part of the story and y'all walking around like husband and wife here okay I here, here's the thing I'm gonna say this I I'm pretty sure this lady is probably gonna go absolutely haywire uh the title says she tried to ruin my life but if if I can give her a teeny 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 bit of, of grace here for a minute if you have a baby with somebody and even though you have this contract and you're not supposed to be together but he's constantly 
coming over. He's there for the birth of the child. You live with him. He's paying child support. He's going out to Chuck E. Cheese. You guys are taking vacation photos. What does this center want? What is she going to start thinking? Like, like, what is she going to start thinking? No matter where she was at in the beginning of this, she's going to want this now because now this is the closest relationship to a man that she's ever had that she's dated. She doesn't have other children. She's experiencing the bond of, oh, this is the father of my child. Is she about to go f nuts? Oh, this isn't him. Oh, okay, it's a different guy. Who is this? Wait, who, who is showing these pictures then? I'm going nuts even though she had a boyfriend who was regularly around our daughter she said that my girlfriend um, couldn't be around our daughter i was able to get our daughter for an afternoon and maria asked what i was doing i told her that i was with my girlfriend and we were at lowe's together she freaked out i said i'd bring her daughter back to her as soon as we were done but instead maria drove to lowe's Oh. Apparently called my dad and was running up and down the aisle screaming. I don't know what actually happened, but she was freaking out, <laughs> just blowing up my phone, thinking she was in danger. And keep in mind, my girlfriend is a mom as well as a nurse. Our daughter was never in any danger. When I offered Maria and my girlfriend to get to know each other so they'd be comfortable. Is that the right thing to do? I guess the only thing he can do is introduce them together right is that the right i actually don't know i don't know but i don't think you should introduce a new girlfriend to this woman immediately said no and you know called my girlfriend a word that rhymes with chore and refused to get to know her maria then made a public post saying that i was a deadbeat dad and that I hadn't seen her daughter in weeks here i am with our daughter just a few days prior to this post i also left my best friend's bachelor party a day early so i could be wait hold on is he, is, it, is he Richard? Okay, she posted, something my heart will always hurt for. I wish I had the choice to remove someone from her life so she doesn't have to experience the immense amount of pain she'll feel one day when she realizes someone who is supposed to be so important in her life is absent most of the time. One thing she'll never have to worry about is that I'll always show up for her and I'll never make her feel half loved. Jesus. And then somebody commented, I don't know if this is him. Oh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Well, wait, Brett Fairley, or maybe a brother or something. Richard Fairley said, quit talking shit, man. <laughs> a friend said, talking shit. Are you commenting on the correct post? There's no shit talking here. It looks like she's expressing some hard truths and concerns with her daughter. It's called parenting. You and your brother could take some notes. Okay, so his brother commented this. And then baby mama responded, he's defending someone who's shoveling hot dogs down his throat for Instagram likes, going on a world tour for the rest of the year. Okay, you picked him. You, 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 you picked the competitive hot dog eater. You saw him at work and you said, mm -mm -mm, gotta have it. Sign right here. Okay. <laughs> because y'all weren't even together and you picked this as baby dad. That's crazy to me. Going on a world tour for the rest of the year. According to his most recent post, leaves his daughter with his parents on his weekend so he can travel and skip town this weekend to miss another Father's Day with his child. The list goes on and on. Don't come at me. Truth is coming out, and I'm not afraid to share it to the public anymore. She had her friends comment mean things on my girlfriend's social media multiple times, even though my girlfriend has n never been anything but nice to Maria. Because Maria tends to do this, I want to make sure that she doesn't twist the story and make it seem like I abandoned our daughter. I recently found out that our daughter isn't mine. I don't know who the dad is, but I've had two paternity tests done and they both say this. I believed Maria when she told me that I was the only possible father. The situation was weird, but I was always happy to be a dad. I, I knew that Maria already knew she was pregnant and she had to have when she asked me to get her pregnant. I didn't think that, that was something that someone would lie about to another human being. Not only to me, but my entire family as well. Everybody's distraught about this. The only victim here is your child. What just happened? <laughs> this past month, a woman named Bree tried to expose this guy for supposedly scamming her. But it very quickly turned out because her video was fishy that she might have actually been the scammer. But something that I have never seen before happened right afterwards. Bree tries to frame this man. He ends up speaking up for himself. He's actually a pretty good storyteller, by the way. His video is good. And then afterwards, floods. And I mean floods of people started coming out with their own crazy stories about Bree and they were all over TikTok this week. But let me show you the video that started it all because, oh my God, did Bree shoot herself in the foot with this one? 
And also really quick, this video kind of drops in the middle. When we get to his video, he's gonna explain exactly what happened. So I'll let him do it. Yeah, and you agreed to the 199 teeth whitening. You took an hour to show up to your appointment and I'm telling you it's $100 for a cancellation. You come in and then you say you're canceling. So I'm saying it's $100 for the cancellation fee for wasting my time. And this is also going on Instagram where I have 100,000 followers as well. And in the- uh... And where I have 100,000 followers as well. <laughs> funny about this also wait let me just give you one little piece of tea for this this video that you're watching right here this man was meeting up with her for a date <laughs> so i hope this was really worth it to you you really wasted my time and my energy today i hope you have a better day oh oh well, i was having a great day until you showed up and decided to waste my time do you mind if i close my door i don't mind ugly I think we could agree he was pretty nice to her for you know being filmed uh the the date going poorly <laughs> everything you just saw but once she posted this to her instagram with a hundred thousand followers he came out and he made a statement and oh my god guys let's watch so <laughs> yeah i'm done i'm done dating <laughs> so last week i saw this girl on Mutual, that's the Mormon dating app, and I'm on there because, like, I'd like to be with somebody with similar values and, you know, used to be maybe in the church, and so they know where I'm coming from, and I'm very upfront about, like, that I'm not active and all that. So anyways, I see this girl, very gorgeous. She's got, like, her business information and her phone numbers on her profile. And she does like teeth whitening and esthetician stuff. Mm -hmm. So I texted her and I was like, hey, I don't know if you knew, but your phone number's in one of your photos on your dating profile. Um, I'm very interested in you. So I was thinking if you're game, I could pay you to whiten my teeth. And then if you were attracted to me and we hit it off, I could ask you out on a date. So Okay, honestly... I, I don't I don't hate his approach at all. He saw that she was an esthetician. She also does teeth whitening. And so he said, hey, I like I'm, I, I'll get my teeth whitened. How about I come get a service from you and I'll pay you. And if we hit it off, then like we could go out on a date. I think like, you know, it's it's not a direct approach, but he's trying something. And it also seems like it maybe comes from a place of being nervous to ask somebody out right away. Right. So odd but okay odd but cute. i personally i think odd but cute so i sent that on wednesday uh thursday night she texts me and she says i'm getting evicted and i have two thousand dollars of rent to pay and she put the the two the dollar sign after so i'm like oh i'm getting scammed it's a fake profile you know that's a red flag so i like looked her up a little bit and then i was like oh no it's like a legit business this is her number so i just sent her a really nice text like oh, you know I know things are tough for a lot of people right now i hope things look up for you like if you end up getting evicted let me know i'll help you move your stuff out uh didn't hear back from her and then today like right as i was getting off drill she's like i charge 199 dollars for teeth whitening would you like to do it today and i was like oh i'm about to get off work that could work for me okay so remember he's texted her and essentially asked for an appointment but it's kind of in a flirty way and she knows that he came from the dating site like that's how you know they're getting into contact so he texted her on wednesday and was like hey love to get my teeth whitened if we hit it off then maybe we could go out sometime then she texted back on thursday and said hello i have openings available right now if you're interested <laughs> she ran in her business this is like this is like when they put uh the only fans username in the uh tender bio <laughs> and then she's like it's downtown so there's only street parking available and i was like okay so at 4 41 i said sounds good we just got released so i can be there in like 25 or 30 minutes and so um, she sends me like some directions of how to get there. So at 5.10, what did I tell you? I said 25 to 30 minutes at 4.41. So 5.10, so 31 minutes, I was one minute late. <laughs> I was like just trying to find a spot and I no called her because like there's only a couple spots out in front of her whatever she rents there and so I was like around the corner I called her I was like hey to see if one would open up so and then I texted her I was like hey will you just see if one of those spots is opened up and she texted me back she says 
Yeah, I have something else to do after this. There's plenty of street parking. I don't know what kind of games you're playing. He's looking for parking and he's trying to text his, his, look, whether she's a date or whether she's the person providing the service, generally, even if I'm getting a service and I'm texting my stylist like, hey, just looking for parking, parking, they'll be like, okay, cool. Or maybe they'll be like, there's a spot out front. And she texted back, okay, well, I need to be somewhere. And, you know, I've only slotted 90 minutes for this appointment. So let's hurry it up, buddy. So I park my car where I'm not supposed to be parked in front of her thing. It says permit only. And I walk in and I'm like, hey, I must be confused because I don't see any spots open on the street to park in. He's like, I told you you could park over at the Megaplex with like all this attitude. And I was just like, okay, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> and so I turn around and I start walking out the door. And this must not have been her first rodeo because immediately she starts filming and she chases me out the door. I'm not- Dude, the way he just hit the phone, she starts filming. <laughs> yeah, this, this ain't her first time. She ready. And she chases me out the door. I'm not kidding. She chases me out the door. She runs over to my car, starts, she's like taking pictures of my plates. She's like, I'm going to call the cops and I'm going to tell them that, because I told you there's a hundred dollar cancellation fee. I'm like, uh. <laughs> I'm like in shock because I like, I'm like, what is going on right now? So I'm like, okay, yeah, you can call the cops. Here's my ID. Like, cause she's like taking pictures of my license plate. I'm like, here, I'll make it easier for you. Here's my ID. You can take a picture of that and you tell the cops this is who I am and they can look me up. And like, she's just like, I told you there's a hundred dollar cancellation fee. And I'm thinking in my head, I didn't really want to get my teeth bitten in the first place. So I was just trying to get my foot in the door for a nice date with a beautiful woman. <laughs> And so <laughs> that's what he's trying to do and then this is what he gets recorded you're on watch buddy <laughs> uh, she's like standing in the way of my door so i can't shut it without touching her and i'm like oh, i'm not gonna I'm not gonna fall for this and i'm like hey can i close my door and she's anyways so i'm closing my door and she's like you ugly fuck <laughs> She's like, okay, I'm getting out of here. So then she starts texting me. I am so tickled by his demeanor. So she sends me a hundred dollar request on Cash App. She <laughs> says, Dude, I don't even have commentary for it. I don't know why this is, why his demeanor and his just like, oh, well, this happened. It's just so funny to me. I also like that. I think part of the reason why he can tell, he's telling the story to a friend. So I love that this friend was supportive enough to be like, hey, this bitch let's set up the camera just talk to me and we'll upload it like i just love that it's so funny it's literally like he's telling the story to a friend i'll be letting you know you're basically blacklisted to all women in utah now <laughs> i texted back i think i'll be okay with a smiley face i dude i don't think so i would argue that this guy's getting mad pussy after this okay and then she texts me and she says he's dancing I should be charging you the full price the full 199 for wasting my time but you can go on ahead and pay the hundred dollar cancellation fee so that this doesn't have to get escalated any further and we can just go about our day and leave each other alone <laughs> and i don't respond then she sends me a link to a TikTok video that she's like prepped <laughs> and she's like, you can pay the cancellation fee or this TikTok video can go viral after i share it to multiple facebook groups and my instagram with 140,000 followers wait and i just let me just tell you the karma of this uh to date right now her TikTok has either been deleted or banned. And this video that he posted has over 5 million views and 1.2 million likes. So um, how kind of her to post that video. She's this whole time, she's calling me, calling me, calling me. I'm like, I'm not answering the phone. That's, <laughs> yeah. She's psycho. I don't know what kind of mental health medication she's on, but it ain't working for her. She needs to find something else. And then she says, I don't understand why you offered to pay for teeth whitening just to waste my time. I know I should have charged you the full appointment up front like I do with all my other clients before allowing you to come. I thought it was a date! If you're a man at all, you would pay the cancellation fee for wasting my time. I did absolutely nothing wrong and I did nothing for you to treat me that way. And I don't deserve my time and energy to be wasted. Do you guys think this is a regular scam that she runs where she's like, yeah, make the appointment and then rushes the person and then claims she has something to do later and that they're too late for their appointment and they need to cancel and then pay the fee. And then she just collects a hundred dollars. And then she texts me a couple minutes later and she says, sounds like you have a business to frostbite food. So I'm gonna make sure that business does not go well. <laughs> oh, oh, he has a business. Well, she doesn't understand. 
is that I have nothing to lose, <laughs> and I probably need that hundred dollars worse than she does right now. <laughs> So, and she's like, I'm going to blacklist you on all the dating groups. I'm like, girl, I'm done dating. So go right <laughs> ahead. And I'm out. I'm going to be good. Anyways, I, I need to just block her number. It sounds like she was still texting him and showing him, I just posted you here. I just posted you here. I just posted you here. The way it turns out is he got all the views. And then also as a fun little cap on top of it, he had a TikTok account for his business. He's one of those people that does the like freeze dried like candies or something. Look, I ain't, I ain't never bought no food off of TikTok. Well, have I? Did you, did they end up selling me them them creamy noodles? I don't think so. Anyways, he runs one of those businesses and his business is called Frostbite Foods and it now has 138,000 Instagram followers as of me making this video. <laughs> My God, did this backfire on her. That's so funny.